Before we actually sent Andrew out to that breaking news, he was digging deeper into what caused more than two dozen staff members to call out sick today from Taft High School. It's a question we're still working to learn the answer to for you tonight. CPS says the school found replacements for every classroom teacher. The call outs, though, come after a growing list of security incidents near the school. What was the last week like? Uh, hell is what a 13 year old Taft student told me. We're not showing him on camera because his parents weren't around when we spoke to him. But he told me his message. Don't shoot. I want to grow up. Sources tell WCPO that 25 staff members called out sick Friday from Taft High School, 20% of the workforce. The teachers union hasn't said why, but it comes after a series of incidents that raised concerns about safety. A 13 year old shot near Taft High School. Last Thursday, a student shot in the arm across the street at dismissal. As you could tell, very hectic scene. Taft's football game the next day with new attendance restrictions. No students will be allowed. And on Wednesday, police found a gun at Stargill Stadium. The department said the investigation was still active when we asked about arrest or charges Friday, but all of it is taking a toll on students. We don't go there as these trauma-informed care, people from the trauma center. We just come as people that care. Something Sheila Nard knows firsthand. Her team at the Trauma Recovery Center has been inside working with students for weeks. We don't pressure them or pull up on them asking them particulars. We just leave the floor open. She says the solution needs to go beyond school. Whether it be at home or wherever they go, and it's a negative environment. What it does, it just sucks that joy out of them, and it makes them be angry. It's vital and major that we have a holistic approach that we address the children and their parents. But in the meantime, her team will be there for students working with CPS. I'm glad that they're embracing that and they're leaning into the support for their children and they're putting the kids first. The district says all Taft classes were covered today and that it is committed to ensuring every school remains a safe haven for its students. In the West End, Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News.